Greetings, everybody. Jeremiah here coming at you on August 20th, 2014. And uh, because several of my colleagues have, have expressed some interest and curiosity with how I am able to um, take screenshots from, uh, um, for example, from a web page or a website, um, and then annotate those screenshots with text, with symbols, with arrows, and, and all those sorts of things. I wanted to put this video together to introduce you to the, um, the software that I use to do that. Um, so here, here's an example of what I'm talking about. So in this uh, PowerPoint presentation that I've put together, um, you can see here on this slide, I have an image which I've, uh, I've screen captured from Fresno State's homepage. And in this, uh, this software that I use, I've annotated this screenshot with a little green arrow pointing from this quick links uh, drop down menu to the email link. So um, just, just imagine you know, if you were giving this PowerPoint presentation, you could verbally say, yeah, go to Fresno State's homepage, and then in the upper right-hand side of the screen, click on the Quick Links drop-down menu, and then find the email link, and then click on that. It's like, well, yeah, we can, we can explain that verbally, but it's also really helpful to be able to see that visually, um, and then to just have this nice little green arrow that, that communicates the same message that took me about 15 seconds to say. So not only is your audience um, getting the information um, orally, but they're also seeing it visually. So this, uh, this, this program makes it very, very easy to um, take screenshots and then to immediately annotate those, those screenshots. I never have to open Photoshop or, or any other sort of robust graphics editing program to do that. It all works in, in this program here that um, is a part of the, um, the Evernote suite of applications. Now, Evernote itself, this is not the program that, that does the, the screen capping and the annotating. That program is called Skitch, but it's made by the people who make Evernote. So what I think I would like to do is um, just briefly talk about Evernote itself for a couple of minutes, and then I'll move on to talking about Skitch and um, how you can download these programs and get them up and running so that you can start uh, um, um, taking, uh, taking notes that you can synchronize to the web and across every single um, device that you have, as well as taking screenshots and annotating those screenshots and then sharing them with your audience or, or you know, whatever the, the case might be. So um, here first, let's let's talk about Evernote for a second. Evernote is is a really really awesome program that I use almost on a daily basis. Essentially, what it boils down to is is a service that allows you to um, take notes on on a whole variety of different devices. You can take notes on your Windows based PC, on your Macintosh on your iPhone, on your Android tablet, on your Android smartphone, so on and so forth. Um, Evernote is cross-compatible with all those different um, devices, um, and it works with all of them at the same time. So if you happen to be running a Windows PC, but you have an Apple iPhone, uh, it doesn't matter. Evernote will work with both of those devices and synchronize to both of those devices um, fairly seamlessly. Um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty magical in, in that sense. Yeah, Evernote is is all about um, being able to um, um, take notes to yourself to like maybe um, even like bookmark things that you see on the web, or if you're having a conversation with somebody and um, they they um, they introduce you to like a really good idea, or I mean it could even be like a movie that you want to see. You just leave a note to yourself in Evernote on your on your tablet or on your phone, save it, and then it will automatically sync to um, the Evernote web servers, and that will then sync to the the rest of the devices where you have Evernote installed. Um, Evernote also has its own web interface so that you can interact with your, with your notes um, on any computer that has access to the, uh, the internet. Um, and what's really cool is that Evernote is absolutely free. You don't have to pay as one penny for it. Um, there, there are some like upgraded levels of service that you can, uh, you can choose to, um, to sign up for. And those come with like, a, um, I can't remember if it's a monthly or an annual fee, but the basic level of service that allows you to do everything that I just said is absolutely free. Um, all you need to do to get started with Evernote is, um, go, um, to evernote.com and then, uh, sign up for your account. Pretty simple, straightforward. All it's going to ask for is an email address and a password. Click that sign up button and then you'll be good to go 
ready to get started. Um, of course, I already have an Evernote account started, so um, I'm just going to um, tab over to um, my Evernote for web and um, show you a little bit what's going on here. Over here on the left-hand side of the screen, you can see that I have, uh, I have three panels here, one for shortcuts, one for notebooks, and one for tags. I suppose here in the shortcut section, I think you can just uh, drag a specific note here into the shortcut section and then that gives you quick and easy access to a note that you're frequently um, using or looking at and, and what have you. Evernote allows you to organize all of your notes into notebooks. You can think of notebooks both in terms of uh, an actual physical notebook that you'd be carrying around in your backpack or in your briefcase. I mean, you can also think of it in terms of um, having a system of folders and subfolders on your computer. Um, it's the same, same overall idea there. Um, generally, when, um, when you're, you're keeping notes, you have a specific notebook to keep those notes in. And that notebook might be um, for a particular class that you're taking or teaching. Um, it might be for a, sp a specific a project that you're working on for your job. Evernote allows you to organize your notes in that, that traditional kind of folder and file system that we're used to. Evernote also will um, let you tag your notes with um, specific keywords, and that's another way for you to be able to organize your notes by, um, by keywords. So um, if I, I think I need to go in here and, and clear the search so that I'm not searching for anything in particular. And then if I come down here and say I want to I wanna pull up every single note that I've tagged with the keyword vocals, I can click on that. And then regardless of the notebook that I have these notes stored in, as long as they've been tagged with the notes of vocals, they'll show up here in my search. So it, it, having um, um, the ability to organize your, your notes in, in both of those different systems or both those different methods, I think is, is very, very powerful and it makes it easy to categorize all of your stuff so that you could easily find it at a later time. Okay, that should pretty much do it, at least in terms of the, um, the organizational scheme here on the, uh, the left-hand side of the interface. Um, now onto the main interface. Um, let's just take a look at uh, what it looks like when you make a new note. So I click on that little uh, new note button there, and uh, let's say um, I want to leave a note for myself regarding um, uh, an academic conference or, or a call for paper that um, I've heard about. And um, I'm going to tag this with the keyword Victorian literature. Um, because this, uh, just saying hypothetically, this might be a, a conference or a call for paper that's, um, that's centered on Victorian literature. Um, I can give this note um, some kind of a title and then the details for the note itself. And uh, the note I'd like to leave for myself is to uh, check this website, victorianweb.org, for 2015 call for papers. Okay, and that is pretty much that. I've created the note, and now it appears here. It should actually be a part of my notebook now, and uh, sure enough, there it is. Okay, so that's, uh, that's essentially the basics for Evernote for web. Now I want to show you what um, the, um, the actual program for Evernote that you would install on, on, your, um, on your actual device would look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and call that up here um, from my, uh, from my uh, toolbar. And um, yeah, it's basically the, the same kind of thing here that we were seeing in the web-based interface. So over on the left-hand side, we have the, um, the various organizational methods here. And again, this is, this is what makes Evernote like super powerful and, and awesome. As I said, um, anything that you, um, that you do in the web-based interface or anything that you do on any number of devices on which you have Evernote installed, it will synchronize across all of those different devices. Um, Evernote, um, uh, the, the, the local application that you would install on your, your Windows-based machine or your Macintosh, it will automatically synchronize every you know, 5, 10, or 15 minutes or whatever the sync interval is. But I can also click this sync button here to do a manual sync um, whenever I want to. And sure enough, here's the note that I created on the web-based interface, but now it's available on my PC as well. And incidentally, any changes that I might happen to make um, on this, uh, this, this note I can then um, synchronize that change, and then I'll see it reflected here in the web-based interface. But of course, I have to refresh my screen in order to see that change. And sure enough, there's the change that I made. 
So pretty cool. Evernote synchronizes across any any device that you have, regardless of the uh, the platform that it's on: Windows, Macintosh, Android, so on and so forth. So um, there's the basic, um, I think, um, sort of in and out for uh, for Evernote. Now um, let's go ahead and, and check out um, the other program that I mentioned before, the one that lets you um, take screenshots and then annotate those uh, those screenshots. That program is called Skitch. If I scroll down to the bottom of the Evernote homepage, all the way at the bottom, there's this link down here for products. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then uh, we can see a list of all the different products that, um, that Evernote offers. The, um, the, the, the next product that I'm interested in, in sharing with you guys is, again, this one here called Skitch. So Skitch, draw attention, get your point across with fewer words using annotation, shapes, and sketches so that your ideas become reality faster. Pretty awesome stuff here. So um, you can uh, click this learn more about Skitch and then I think it will take you um, across a, a, a variety of like introductory videos, tutorials, and, and so on and so forth. But um, I just want to show you um, what Skitch does, what it looks like. Um, so if we just click on this little icon here, that'll take us to the, uh, the area where we can download Skitch. And of course, there, there it is. Skitch works on all of these different platforms here, the different mobile devices, different computers, and, and so on. So you would just click this download for Windows button or download for whatever um, software or operating system you have, and uh, that'll uh, install the program for you. So now here, check this out. I'm going to go ahead and, and um, tab back over to Fresno State's homepage. If I open up Skitch here, hey, this is uh, um, the last screenshot that I took. Um, say, for example, I want to um, take a screenshot of uh, something here on Fresno State's homepage. I simply click the screen snap button. Okay, I drag the area that I want to screen cap. And now suddenly that, uh, that the area that I just drug is now in Skitch. And then I can use these, uh, these various tools here to annotate that image um, however I want to. So just like you saw before, I have, uh, um, I have some arrows going on there. Well, I already have the arrow tool selected. All I need to do is click and drag. And then suddenly the image is annotated. Um, I can add text using the text tool. Click somewhere. Type some text. If I want to do a box or a circle or a line, a box with rounded corners, all that stuff is there. Um, a variety of different uh, symbols that we can use. You can even block out text. So if there's private or sensitive information, you can block that out. Um, you can, yeah, there are even cropping tools. So if you didn't get your, your selection quite right the first time around, you can use Evernote to crop. Hit that little apply button down there to apply the crop, and then there you go. So all this stuff, it's just like available at your fingertips. And again, I, I never even have to take this image into, into Photoshop or some, some fancy graphics editor. Skitch lets me do all this stuff right here. Even lets me take the screenshot from the application. So it's pretty awesome. Um, the, pretty much the only thing you have to do after this, um, I can save this directly to Evernote if I want to. Um, but if you wanted to get this uh, this annotated image into a PowerPoint presentation or to email it to somebody or what have you, you'd want to save this as its own uh, image file. Um, so you just click that Save As Image button, save it in a place on your computer where it's easy to find, um, and then there are a variety of different image formats that you could uh, you could save this, uh, this screenshot or annotated screenshot in. You save it as a JPEG image, save it as a ping file, um, as a PDF file, and so on and so forth. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this as a JPEG file, call it test, save, done. Now back here in, the, uh, in my PowerPoint, I'm just going to create a new slide here real quick and uh, the insert picture function, go back here to my desktop, that, uh, uh, that file I save, test.jpg, and there it is. Good to go. It's really that simple. So, um, all, oh yeah, all that being said, um, hopefully you guys have found this, uh, this introduction and this tutorial useful. If uh, you have any questions or have any trouble getting started with this or, or um, you want to share some ideas on how Evernote or Skitch can be useful for you, um, either as a teacher or as a student or as a working professional, um, leave a comment for me in the box below and uh, I look forward to reading those. 
Um, if you found this use or this video useful, I hope you also feel free to uh, um, click that subscribe button so that way um, you can get notified on any future videos that I create. And uh, yeah, that's that. Good luck. Um, happy Evernoting. Happy sketching. Happy screen capping. Cheers.